वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स हाई टू अनादर क्लास एंड टूडेज टॉपिक इज आइसो इलेक्ट्रिक फोकसिंग एंड टू डी जेल इलेक्ट्रोफोरिस नाउ वी हैव सीन एस टी एस पेज वी हैव सीन जेल इलेक्ट्रोफोरोस नाउ जेल इलेक्ट्रोफोरोस हैज मैनी मैनी डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ टेक्निक्स एंड दे आर यूज टू सेपरेट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोटीन्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द कंडीशन रिक्वायर so isoelectric focusing is one of the technique which is very 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 important and then with the help of isoelectric forces and sds page we make a 2d gel that is two dimensional gel and that is also very 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 important because in many cases we want to separate protein which have same isoelectric points and for a better resolution we use 2d gel electrophoresis so without wasting time let's quickly move ahead and see that what is isoelectric focusing now see for this you have to understand the concept of pi so let's discuss the concept of pi first we know that any amino acid any amino acid has a positive charged nh3 group and negative charged c double o negative group now in normal conditions that is at ph 7 both the groups have charges but as the ph decreases that is as the ph goes goes below ph is below around 2.9 or something not only nh3 is protonated but c double o is also protonated that's why the amino acid is predominantly in the positively charged state and as soon as the ph is above 9 what happens is that the c double o h group first loses h positive as soon as the ph rises above 2.9 and by going to around ph 9 the nh3 group also loses the proton so that's why the amino acid is more in the negative charge stage so your doubt might be like that ki if at ph 2.9 or below that the positive charge state is there at ph more than 9 the negative charge state is there then there will be a state where the amino acid will be in both positive and negative charge state yes that stage will be around if you take the average of 2.9 and 9 around ph 7.7 or so the amino acid will be in both the state that is positively and negatively charged this this state is known as zwitter ionic form zwitter ionic form and one thing that will be that is clear to you now is that in zwitter ionic form both positive and negative charges are there so that overall amino acids become neutral so overall it is neutral this property of amino acid we exploit in isoelectric focusing see in sds page it may happen that many of the proteins may have similar molecular weight so in the sds page we get band and that band doesn't guarantee that it consists of a single protein it may consist different types of proteins so what we do we make a gel we make a gel we construct a gel such that this gel has a gradient of ph a gradient of ph so it will start from around ph 3 ph 2 to 3 then may come to around 6 okay this moment then may come to around 4 okay 5 6 7 8 and may go to around 9 okay now what we will do we will put the proteins so we are actually separating the proteins in isoelectric focusing okay <coughs> so we'll put the proteins toward the positively charged electrode sorry my mistake 
put the protein towards the negatively charged electrode also known as anode or cathode yes negatively charged electrode is also known as cathode because cations travel to it okay so that's why it is known as cathode and positively charged is known as anode because anions will travel towards it okay so we'll keep the proteins in this area i'll take another color it will be with me here and then we'll apply the electric charges now see very 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 important concept at around ph 2 to 3 most positively uh, most proteins are positively charged okay so they will not move obviously but as the ph keeps on increasing the negative charge develops and at around their pi they will go and they will precipitate there why precipitate there because at that pi the overall charge on the amino acid will be neutral so it's very evident so what happens for example any protein that has a pi of around 5 it will migrate till this and it will form a band here any protein that has a pi of 7 it will form a band here and any protein that has a pi of 4 it has a band here now accordingly you can run the gel accordingly you can run the gel from here or here the both the proteins will migrate in both directions okay so yes in isoelectric focusing now you see the important point that we have not add any sds or anything in isoelectric focusing the protein move in their native states so it is very important that there is no denaturation here okay and here the protein is separated on the basis of charge protein is separated on basis of charge yes exactly the mass will play a role but not that much the main is the charge and as soon as the charge becomes neutral and that is on the ph now this zwitter ionic form or this is known as pi pi means the ph the ph at which the net charge on amino acid is zero okay the net charge on the amino acid is zero that is known as pi now according to this pi according to this pi at any ph if the pi is equal to ph at that point for example if i say that